the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, I would like to welcome you to the 25th day of this journey, Rebirth. I read from Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 1 which says, Take notice of the laws and the customs that I teach you today. Observe them that you may have life and you may enter and take possession of the land that God is giving you. My dear friends, just obedience can bring blessings. The easiest and the shortcut to blessings is to obey. All we need to do is to obey rules and regulations that God has placed, the principles that he has placed to govern mysteries and blessings will automatically come. A, a lot of the things that we pray about in this country and in, in our lives are not prayer solvable and just a waste of time. That is why we keep praying but those negative conditions keep pursuing us despite the fact that we are praying. Just obedience can open doors. So I thought we should talk about the law of sin and death and then the law of life and blessings. The law of sin and death and the law of life and blessings. Don't forget we are dealing with spiritual laws. Now the basis for this law is found in Deuteronomy chapter 28. So let's do some Bible reading then we look at the ramifications of these laws. My dear friends, I know that a good number of people are enthused about the law of seed faith teaching. The law of seed faith. I know that people are enthusiastic and excited about it. But before you go all jumpy about it, there is a functionality clause I left out. And it is this. Without obedience, you are wasting your seed and your sacrifice. Obedience is very important. In other words, I'm I'm saying that the one thing that can prevent your sacrifice and your seed from bringing you the requisite result is disobedience don't forget i told you a couple of days ago that there are three ways that negativity can be introduced into your life or into your lineage one through covenant two through disobedience three through ignorance so disobedience is a big issue we'll be looking at it later on in the year so in other words the one thing that can prevent your sacrifice and your seed from bringing you results is disobedience the principle of sacrifice works best when you obey that is why at a point in time the lord will say look what is more pleasing to the lord is it your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice listen obedience is better than sacrifice and submission is better than offering the fat of rams this was said in 1 samuel chapter 15 verse 22 so sacrifice works when you obey so you should understand the principles if you are not obeying and you are sacrificing you are wasting your time So elsewhere, Jesus Jesus will say, look, it is true that my father said in Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16 that no one should appear before me empty-handed. However, I am telling you that if you are bringing your gift to the altar and you remember that your brother or your sister has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. First, go and be reconciled to them and then come and offer your gift. Matthew chapter 5 verse 24 to 25. So you don't just take one part of the Bible and leave the other. It is holistic. The laws work parapa, so they work hand in hand. So you cannot say, uh, God says, don't appear before me empty-handed. So I'm taking this sacrifice to God. And when I take it to God, A, B, C, D will happen. It doesn't work like that. You are sending the sacrifice to God, but you are having a problem with your brother or your sister, or your brother or your sister has a problem with you. Jesus says, if you are bringing your gift to the altar because of Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, and you remember that your brother or your sister has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, and then come offer your gift, then God will listen to your prayers. We must apply spiritual laws with understanding. Are you beginning to see why some of us have sowed seeds? We have practiced seed faith. We have sacrificed. We have ordered mass intentions, but our conditions still remain the same. Some other day, we'll talk about the things that prevent us from getting results spiritually. That's another 40-day program on its own. Then you see that it is not God who is powerless, but we are largely responsible for the, for the mediocre results we see in our lives. Moving forward, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The statement I'm about to make, don't get me wrong. A lot of the things we pray about, I think, are just a waste of time. Yeah. Take it from me. A lot of the things we pray about are just a waste of time. Just by renewing our minds. 
and by obeying God, you'll be surprised at the breakthroughs we receive just by renewing our minds and obeying God. That there is a dimension of God's favor, protection that comes on us when we obey His commands and His laws. I've thought before that there are three ways to get blessings from heaven. The first one is what? Obedience. The second one is aligning yourself to covenants that God has made with other people. And the third one is approaching God yourself. Obedience to laws and principles, obedience to kingdom ministries, obedience to kingdom mysteries can open doors for you. I've, I've discussed this with you before. One, obedience to God and the, the mysteries that he has set in place, the laws. Number two, aligning yourself with covenants that God has with other people. The easiest way to receive things from God. So my dear friends, obedience is a big issue. So just obeying God's laws can bring blessings. And all we need to do is to obey rules and regulations, obey the systems that God has put in place and blessings will automatically come. All we need to do is to change our mindsets and obey the precepts of God and most of the negativities will be taken care of before we even start to pray. There is a place for prayer. However, most of the things happening in our lives will be taken care of if only we trust and obey. So what are the blessings for obedience? I'm reading from the Bible. 28 verse 1 to 14. Selected verses. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands that I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. And all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord. 1. You'll be blessed in the city and you'll be blessed in the country. It doesn't matter whether the economy is hard or not. You'll be blessed in the city and you'll be blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. And the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your heads and the lambs of your flocks will all be blessed. Your basket and your kneading trowel will be blessed. In other words, your work, the work of your hands will be blessed. You'll be blessed when you come in and be blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. Uh huh. They will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. Just obedience. <laughs> not, not all night. Oh. <laughs> not 40 days night. Not 40 days uh, 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 fasting and, and prayer. Just obedience. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your pants, on your investments, on your properties, and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord will bless the work of your hands. The Lord will bless you in the land He's given you. Obedience. The Lord will establish you as His holy people. And as He promised you on oath, if you keep the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in obedience to Him, the Lord will bless you. Then all the peoples on the earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity. Prosperity in mind, prosperity in health, eh? prosperity in marriage, prosperity in, in spirituality, all the different levels of prosperity. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the of your livestock and the crops of your ground in the land is what to your ancestors to give to you. Obedience. The Lord will open the heavens. The storehouse of his bounty. Do you know what it means for the Lord to open his heavens? He will send down rain. Rain signifies blessings. He will send down rain on your land in season, in season, and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but you will borrow from none. Obedience. Just obedience. Not all night, though. Just obedience. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Uh huh. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top. Top. And never at the bottom so do not turn aside from any of the commands i give you today to the left or to the right following other gods and serving them go and read it just obedience but can we obey all the time no because we are humans that is why me personally i don't joke with confession a single day doesn't pass by without me confessing my sins when i realize the minute i realize that i've done something that is wrong immediately i go and look for god I look for God and I confess my sins and I ask for forgiveness because I know what disobedience is capable of doing. Disobedience is capable of opening 
negativity into your life. These are the blessings for obedience. Just obeying. These are the blessings for obedience. May God help us so that we will be people who obey. And once we obey, we realize that a lot of doors will be open. A lot of the things you are praying for, just obey. Begin to obey the Lord and you see what the Lord will do in your life. May God help us to trust and to obey Him. Have a prayerful day. Shalom. And God bless you.